Hi there, my name is Janelle Kosechnik and I'm the curator here at the Campbell River Art Gallery. I am here in the exhibition Finding Sybil that opens this Saturday. The gallery will be open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the exhibition runs until May 1st. I am here with Linda Bevington who had the privilege of being a student of Sybil Andrews. This exhibition is a response by five contemporary artists to the life and legacy of Sybil. And today I'm talking to Linda about the lessons that she's learned from Andrews and what she can see of Sybil coming through the work of quilter Marnie McMahon. So what do you think is the most significant lesson you learned from Sybil Andrews as a student of hers? Well, the most important things that Sybil taught me were, first of all, that drawing mm -hmm. is so important. She always called it the bones of the picture. And um, also composition or design, which, um, in other words, there's no point putting a lot of detail on a, a poor drawing or a poor design. So I still try for that in my work. The, composition is the most important thing to me. That's amazing. You know, that's what Marcy Pryor said as Did well. Did she? That okay. That really a strong thing she instilled yes. in her students, yeah. the importance of composition. Right. And also, um, the way Sybil used color on her prints, she uh, layered it up really like glazes. So um, I do the same thing, but usually with watercolors instead. But it, uh, again, you're using different kinds of paint, opaques and transparents. And, and uh, she had those wonderful effects by layering up oil paint in her lino cuts. Absolutely. Yeah. And so when looking at Marnie McMahon's series of quilts, how do you see Sybil Andrews coming through the work that she's done here? Well, I, I see the uh, simplification of, of design, which reminds me of Sybil's work, how um, the artist has uh, just not attempted to put in a lot of detail, but just the simple structure of, of her idea. I think that's very appealing, very strong. And um, then this one does remind me of, of her woodcuts, as, as you remarked, and also the, um, her woodcut of the western red cedar, mm -hmm. where you have this sense that it's reaching out, out of the picture, out of the frame. Yeah, like I, this I find part that, of like yeah. a middle part of a triptych. Yes, I find that very strong, and I also see it in, in this one too on the end. That reminds me of a forest striving upwards for the sky. Mm. And, okay. and of those, like, I don't know, unseen relationships, I guess, you know, all the ways that things are connected, maybe, that you yes. can't really see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she does a wonderful job of using the bias tape. She here. does, yes. And so you can really, yeah, you get this kind of upward thrust, but also the, the width and the weight of the branches. Yes, kind of yes, Dro down drooping, their drooping down, yes, it's yeah. wonderful, yeah. And this one as I well. I like this one very much. Mm -hmm. And this is made with old clothing, linen clothing that um, is the artist's or was the artist's. Yes. And this is a very resourceful way of making art. Yes, as we were yes, and uh, yes. Again, that that would have appealed to Sybil very much. Yes. Her economy of living and economy of working. Yes. Absolutely. It's born out of necessity. And, yes. Yes. <laughs> and you had some very interesting interpretations of these ones on the end. I'd love for you to share. And um, these two on the end actually remind me of her crucifixion prints, just the um, simple figures uh, is expressing emotion just through the simplicity of form. And and that's wonderful. I think, um, yeah, I agree with you that uh, Sybil would be impressed by this artist's ability yes, to do a lot with very few lines. Exactly, I think so too. Yeah. No 
are wonderful. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today and for sharing your interpretations. We really appreciate well, thank it. Thank you. And we hope to see you come visit us at Finding Civil Contemporary Responses to Civil Andrews at the Campbell River Art Gallery.